I hope you've enjoyed that introduction to this project. I'll be talking about the Battle of the Wilderness, its leaders, its location and time, the tactics used during it, and its significance to the war at hand. Oh, and uh, George might help. The Confederacy was led by their trusted leader, Robert E. Lee, but he was up against George Meade, who beat him at Gettysburg the previous year. Alongside Meade, future President Ulysses S. Grant led the Union in his first battle as a Lieutenant General. The battle took place between the 5th and the 7th of May, 1864, in the wilderness of Spotsylvania. This dense forest land proved to be a testing battleground for both armies strategically. Due to the fact that there wasn't much space to manoeuvre, Grant decided that a quick charge would be the way to advance through and continue towards Virginia, but two Confederate corps blocked his path. Other than this, it was a complete battle of attrition, with 17% of the Union soldiers dying and 18% of the Confederate forces dying. Ultimately, this battle didn't hinder or help the advance of the Union because of the inconclusiveness of its result. However, despite the fact it is widely considered a draw, Grant's overall strategy was to completely destroy the Confederates' eastern frontier through a bloody war of attrition, and he killed a larger percentage of the Confederates' army than the percentage of his own army which was conceded. So, therefore, you could say this was a victory for the Union.